I'm here to present this first panel, uh, that it's a counter-counter uh, movement, um, inspired also by Alice Water uh, book and, and ideology. I'm Felipe, I'm one of the uh, co-founders of Fruto. I will present myself later. Uh, and I'll be open this um, panel about this counterculture movement and about sustainability. And first of all, I'd like to present what is sustainability. Uh, and I think for us, it's important to say that sustainability is not only about environmental. It's something that it's, as climate change, is something that is urgent to be uh, responsibility and to be responsible for. So one of the ideas is uh, some kind of uh, possibilities and interactions that we may have to don't fuck the future. So it's important <laughs> <laughs> to understand, sorry, the words. I, I just ask it first if, if possible to do it. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As I presented this, uh, just before I just uh, have a video and a message from Dominic, so please. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the barrier. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Bay Area. Whenever you're ready. Bonjour. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Bay Area. Um, so happy that all of you uh, wonderful uh, human being I hear. I'm so happy that you experienced already single thread and atelier cran. Um, so this morning, unfortunately, I can't be with you, but I will be with you later on, and I would love you to start this symposium. And uh, later on, we're gonna have a lot of fun, but we have a lot of things to talk about. So let's do this. Au revoir, à tout à l'heure. <laughs> well, I'll be more comfortable here, so I'll be turning around and walking and things like that. So uh, can I just have my first? Let me have it. OK. Uh, the first panel. Oh. Very glad to be here with all you guys and share the stage and share all this movement with all these great names. Uh, in this panel, we'll be sharing ideas with Alice Waters, with Trin Henneman, uh, also with Enrique Overa. And we're starting talking about what is sustainability, as I thought with my good words. Uh, and I will uh, start talking in Spanish, so sorry about this translation app. Uh, bueno, voy a empezar a hablar un poco de lo que es uh, sostenibilidad y como decía, ya está. Ah. Bueno, presentando uh, un poco a mí, pasar un poco de lo que es fruto y dejaré, ya tengo en dos, entonces puedo pasar en portugués, en castellano y en, en inglés. Uh, so we want to talk about what is sustainability and what is uh, this counterculture movement. And I have the pleasure to share this stage with all great names uh, and have this enormous thankful to everyone from Basque Culinary Center, from the Basque Country, and also everyone here in the jury, and al also you guys uh, in the audience. So thank you very much. Um, I'm a partner with Chef Alex Atal in Brazil in the, this food symposium called Fruto. We started developing this idea to talk about what is sustainability and what is our relationship between food and uh, environmental. But not only this, we're talking about all uh, relations that we have in food waste. We're talking about relations between public policies. That's why we have uh, this idea and this infographic uh, 
um, that we have talking about what it's all the relationship between uh, these ideas. Uh, bueno, el próximo vamos en portugués, ah, entonces. Uh, ¿Va bien? ¿Todos? ¿Sí? ¿Se, se está traducido o no? Bueno, buen inglés. Uh, again, <laughs> please déjame algunos minutitos o más. Uh, the idea that we need to talk what it's uh, this relationship between food, human, environmental, and now this relationship that we have. Uh, we understand that uh, food is some uh, thing that it's very trans uh, transversal to every relationship that we have. Uh, we also discussed what it's uh, access to food, what it's access to good food, and some important thing, what it's access uh, or non-access to food, about uh, the hungry, about the, 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 what it's these kind of things. We always put food on the main uh, center of discussion. Of course, we uh, are intended to like this issue, to like this idea, to like this theme. But also, uh, we have this relationship and this important thing that all these uh, choices that we make have some impacts in our life, in the environmental, and also in all uh, ideas that we have. When you choose something about uh, what is the packaging, what is the system that we have, uh, who did product this, who have this access to. So um, just before talking and introducing all this, uh, the idea that we need to rethink all our impacts, all our choices when we are choosing what we're going to eat and why. So, uh, first of all, the idea that we made this uh, discussion, what it's, uh, we're going to be. Alex um, calls me one day, we're just in an opening ceremony of uh, an exhibition, and he told me, what about if we're going to make some symposium different of all symposiums that uh, we've been uh, presenting and attending to? Uh, and the idea that on Fruto we would like to discuss things about all this relationship, but not only for and by foodies or chefs or things like that. As we understand that uh, this relationship that we have been or we may have uh, with food twice a day, at least, uh, should be discussed in a different way, should be um, incorporated with some uh, ideas from the health system, uh, for agro uh, agroecology, from uh, family agriculture, from agribusiness, or, for example, all these uh, relationships that we have. So, uh, Fruto is not made by ourselves. We are like the, the main um, organizers uh, for these, but the idea that we may uh, choose people that are not foodies, are not uh, chefs, but to discuss what is ideas that they could have. So, um, one of the first important thing that it's the opportunity to give the stage and to give uh, the voice to different ideas and to different, um, and when I say different, sorry to <laughs> interrupt myself also, but <laughs> when I say different, uh, we may say opposite ideas. And I think one of the main ideas that we have on Fruto is to understand that dialogue is one of the most important thing to understand and to mm, have different ideas, but in a, a dialogue uh, and in a discussion all about this. So uh, I started to have this first uh, presentation. It's in the uh, natives from Brazil. Um, also, Alice Potters, also uh, <laughs> playing this, this um, movement there, that it's some kind of uh, ritual that we have. So we'll discuss also the rituals uh, that we have been from the history that we have been uh, in a sociologic uh, point of view or anthropologic point of view. So food is also um, been very related to us as human beings. So that's why I just present this idea. 
Um, in Fruto, the main important thing is the speeches and the one that they have uh, they're presented there. Uh, in Fruto, uh, it's a uh, as we're talking about access, we're talking about uh, also the impact and also who are attending to and who are presenting to and who are there, but also in a live stream free. Also, all this content in our web page, in our uh, site, uh, for free to give more access to everyone. So, uh, Fruto is trilingual, it's in Portuguese, Spanish, and English to have more access to all this content that we're presenting. Uh, and one of the main important things that we do, uh, talking about this uh, idea, is how can we discuss our relationship with if in environmental if we're discussing who are cropping and what it's all technologies about cropping things. So uh, we understand that if we have some access to a small place to crop, and to plant and to have uh, ideas. We are, have the pleasure to, to have a plenty uh, uh, plant to see what it's a, a vertical uh, farm, what it's new technologies that we can have, and what it's all this impact, the idea that we, have, may, we may have uh, a cropping system close to the city, not to have so, such impact in the transportation, how uh, how many tons of foods that are lost or food wasting uh, in this uh, trackability of the distance from the farm to the city. So we're discussing everything. And one of the main ideas that we have uh, is to open this. At the, we are going to the third edition. So in the first one, always in Jan January in Sao Paulo. But the first one, we invited Ernest Gotch that is discussing about syntropic agriculture what it's in tropic, what it's all this relationship that we're thinking about in our relationship between men, no humans, uh, what if may have different things in uh, ag agriculture systems. So we are di discussing all these uh, ideas made by Ernest Gotch that it's what it's syntropic, what it's all this relationship and what all this cooperation between plants. So it's something that it's very important to understand uh, when you're talking about new technologies and new opportunities. Uh, we also discuss in our relationship between uh, human brain and food. So we're not talking just about food, what we want to, to eat or something, but uh, related to the evolution of brain in this, this case. Uh, Susana Herculano, it's a Brazilian that uh, um, teaches in, uh, in the States here in the United States, uh, about the evolution of homo culinarius, you know, how our brain changes when we have access to food every day. We d all the, the effort that we have is just to open a fridge, or even better or worse, just to use the phone to ask or deliver something. So how our brain is changing with this access, or more free access to food. Uh, also, Carlo Petrini, uh, dispense presentations, no, the, presen the president of Slow Food International. Talking about all this, all this relationship that uh, food has in, in these ideas. These are main ideas that we have uh, about um, organizing a food symposium, food symposium like this, but not only talking about Fruto or this symposium, but talking about we think our choices, we think what is common to do every day and made it different uh, in order to know that we have such an impact in the environmental and such an impact in our relationship. Uh, in Fruto, the idea is to have the opportunity to give the voice, no? to give in the first person uh, ideas, so we are presenting ideas, for example, uh, uh, in this native from all over the world. Um, we, in the second edition this year, uh, we just have an idea to not only discuss, but to dialogue itself. So not only will be one-on-one, but will be ideas. And the main idea that we have is to discuss about food education. So we're not discussing the future, if not touching in the child and childish 
problems that we have. So the future is on our hand, on their hands, not only on our hands. Uh, and as we have this first person uh, dialogue, the idea is that we have someone that it was impacted with these uh, cases. So we have an activist that 17 years old, that uh, last uh, one of the last ones, uh, that are discussing why and put all things together. One of the main uh, representative of the government and the uh, food education program with the government, together with some um, activists that are front to front daily with this situation. So uh, the opportunity to link and to make connections to everyone. Um, yeah, I have to, to <laughs> wait a little bit. Uh, also the opportunity to talk about food waste. And when you're talking about food waste, we're only not only talking about food waste, but make all this trackability about what is food, what is food waste, what is uh, making uh, ideas like this. And I think uh, I will be talking about this issue uh, a little bit later. But also public policies for food. We're not uh, making decisions by ourselves, but we have to. And I think one of the main ideas and main uh, important things in, in this case here uh, and in this prize also that we have the, the government together thinking and also allowing new possibilities. So it's very important, this one. So talking about um, how can we, civil society, can change things through public policies. So if we are talking about what we gonna make, what can we make? I think Manu is one of uh, the speakers later that uh, was there, not in this uh, round table, but make things through public policy and through ideas that she has. So I won't talk more because Manu will talk later. Uh, also, we did have uh, Lars and Chido talking about in first person what it's collab. Uh, also, Douglas talking about uh, food waste. Uh, Alice, Davia, and Ron Feeling talking uh, and discussing things um, for the future. So it was amazing to see and to have. Also, Andoni uh, with brilliant uh, words talking. Also, what is the future? Uh, oh yeah, I hear. I have two two <laughs> slides in part in Spanish and in English talking about the importance of being. Uh, and having this citizenship uh, exercise. Why? Why we're talking about this? The issue that I'm talking about, food waste. Uh, if you're doing a seminary, if you're doing actions like this, we have to be co... Uh, coexistent? Co uh, well, we, we need to be uh, cohesive with what we are discussing too. So as we do this symposium, talking about what is sustainability, we may and we must be sustainable. Why, how, and can, how can we do such thing? Uh, so we are um, making this, uh, this food symposium being sustainable as not being, making the same uh, thing as we are making daily. We have to rethink, uh, for example, what I'm going to, s to serve to all the public. Uh, in this idea, we are discussing food waste. We cannot make things different of cooking with food waste. Uh, so, uh, for example, we are in the first beginning uh, using a John Rose wa uh, Waste for Water project that they have access to clean water with uh, a gallons and a filter of food uh, of uh, water, and we, we realize it that we must be close to this idea. So we use this filter in the uh, food symposium in Fruto to uh, make this approach to this idea. So also we have some exercises that we have we made us rethink what it's. Uh, making a, a, a symposium like this. So we're using just plates, dishes, everything uh, compo uh, compostable, biodegradable. So we're using also fruits that are discarded from the market. Also, we're discussing patterns, uh, uh, patterns 
that uh, why a lemon, that um, a Sicilian lemon, that it's not like the perfect shape could not be used in the market. So I uh, have a lot of projects like this and we support it and we use it and also make all the efforts to use and have this. So my time is running. I just uh, want to present ideas and to make uh, more clearly about this. So eggplants, they're not so beautiful. It's eatable. Uh, a banana um, uh, sizes that we just fried. Why we can only use banana of the inside of the fruit as we can use the peels of banana to make like, for example, uh, fried one, everything fried, it's good. So uh, <laughs> uh, we just use this one. Also pickles, also re, uh, reusing ingredients that we are made in, in the first beginning. And as I said, we complete all this food cycle using a compost, a fruit compost there. Uh, that we use uh, to put uh, cutlery, plates, cups, and everything there, and deliver all this, uh, this organic compost uh, to uh, small bags that are donated to all the participants and to urban um, gardens in Sao Paulo. So uh, we are now managing ideas and projects together, like a honey, native honey from Brazil, with also another project that we have as Atai Institute uh, with vanilla from Cerrado, from a region from Brazil that it's 10 times bigger than a vanilla from Hawaii or something like that, uh, uh, from uh, um, different countries. So uh, the idea that we are also fomenting and uh, have new products in the market with our label, uh, that in th this example, we are talking about eggs that are not uh, access to the market because they are just uh, young chickens that uh, produce it so they don't have this similar shape and similar sizes so we're discussing everything here and i have to finish with this one that it's fruit it's made by people for people so i have to thank all the the team that have all the efforts to make it happen uh, annually and all over the world so this is our team and also a beautiful image of that. So all this content, I won't be too much longer than.